<laughs> Laura <laughs> tweeted, so excited for Next in Fashion on Netflix. Love Alexa Chung and Tan Franz, a great duo for the show. And Sue tweeted, oh my God, Alexa Chung and Tan Franz have a show together? Give me life. <laughs> <laughs> well, joining us now are the stars of Netflix's new fashion competition show, Next in Fashion, Tan Franz and Alexa Chung. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to have you. I'm yeah. not opposing myself. <laughs> how would, how would you you're about to so chip up at this time of the morning. Because I flew in from London last night, so for me, this is like one oh, yeah. It is later, and you came from yeah. the West Coast-ish. I did, I did, I did, just a couple of days ago, so this is very, very early for me. <laughs> so, well, you look great for being 6 a.m. or however. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. thanks. All right, so you both are hosting a new high fashion, yeah. high stakes show, but we want to take a look before we talk about it, so here we go. Mm. Three, two, one. Are you ready? Now. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to Next in Fashion. Yes. They say, oh my God, I see the way so we scoured the earth for some of the best designers in the world. Now I've launched Apple Bottoms and Rockaway and I've worked for Stella McCartney, <laughs> moved on to Alexander Wang. But who amongst you is a household name? That's exactly why we're here today. <gasps> I was expecting when you said who among you is a household name and they said no to you to be like me or you to be like me. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been a false term to do that. Yeah. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> All right, so you, what, <laughs> tell me about the moment y'all were approached to host the show. What did you think about it? Um, I was approached quite late in the day, but I immediately said yes. And I have my own fashion line in London, so it took a bit of kind of maneuvering. Mm -hmm. But I spoke to my CEO and I was like, I've been offered this thing. And he was literally like, flipped the table. He was like, what, Netflix? I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. What about um, that? Um, it was the easiest yes ever. I love a good competition show. Mm -hmm. And so you could have asked me to do, do a competition show about ant racing or something. I would Which have is said, funny yeah, because racing. I forgot to mention to you. Oh, an ant racing competition? <laughs> yeah, it's coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. I pitched it for yeah. last week. Well, <laughs> super keen. Amazing ant racing. I'm excited for that. Yeah. You will be great for that. They move fast, but in teams. So, yeah, well, I don't do, know why you know this, but I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about the first time you two met, because doing the show was not the first meeting, correct? We no. Met once before. We didn't know each other at all. No. She was very excitable. Um, and then therefore in return, I was very <laughs> excitable. We were both fans of each other, so it was really sweet. I would like to say I kind of pride myself on being able to keep it pretty cool okay. around most things. like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a bit of a, the rock and roll. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, whatever, man, blah, blah, blah. But when Tan walked in, I screamed, which is <laughs> uncharacteristic of me, and then hid behind a DJ booth. But he found me. <laughs> yeah, wow. the scream. Which I was really embarrassed because I would, as I say, like I'm usually quite good at holding my stuff yeah. together. And then I was like, ah! <laughs> that was the highest form of yeah. excitement for you. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things I was struck by is that among the competitors, they have dressed some really famous yeah. people before, yeah. like Beyonce. And yet, you know, a lot of them haven't been household names yet or they're not recognizable. Yeah. So what makes this show different from other fashion competition shows? Well, the competition show, I love other competition shows. Um, however, they are usually new designers. We have established designers. They've come from the likes of Stella McCartney, Alexander Wang, um, Louis Vuitton. So they are they are seasoned designers who just haven't been given the platform that the likes of Olivia Rousting have. Um, and so they're at, on, on the precipice of something incredible. We're just helping push that further and hopefully make them a household name. Mm. I haven't seen any other ones, so I can't compare them. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> well, the show also features a really diverse range of designers and they're yeah. from all around the world. So how do you think Next in Fashion just echoes the diversity uh, of the fashion industry? Well, my experience of uh, working in fashion for years and also setting up my own company is that, yeah, it's quite uh, typical that you'll have an office full of people from all over the world. Um, in my office, like there's kind of only about five British people. Everyone else is from somewhere else. Um, so I think it's it was less a gimmick and more just an actual reflection of what goes on. Mm -hmm. So something I read as we were prepping for this is that, Tan, you can tell when Alexa doesn't particularly agree with your fashion choices, maybe. She'll say something like, it looks great. 
Oh, is that a raise? Oh, I don't know. I, I, think, I think I was, always look good. Thanks. No, we have a tell when we're when we're critiquing the designer's work. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. So mine, mine is. <laughs> I was like, Alexi, you've been no. talking shit about Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't throw me under the bus, please. Like, <laughs> this was super no, awkward. I think yeah. you look amazing. <laughs> um, no, during the show, for example, her face mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. the talking for her, whereas I will say, "Oh, great." Oh. And my voice goes really high, but sh her face is like... Mm. Uh, yeah, I have uh, an unfortunate inability to control yeah. my facial muscles. So if I see something that I'm like, uh, I kind of... Do you play poker? Do, I do. Are you good at it? No, I, I, I can't you're count. terrible at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't assume for that reason. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, we're in the middle of award season. Um, yeah. Thinking about some red carpet looks, are there any celebrities who you'd like to give a little fashion makeover to? <gasps> no. No. Oh, no, I think... One of the most exciting things I think that has happened to red carpet dressing is that now people kind of are a bit more irreverent, whereas they used to play it a bit more safe and everyone wanted to just look beautiful. Now you have people turning up like for a moment. Yeah. What's his name? Billy? Billy Porter. Billy Porter. Billy Porter. I mean, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Yeah. I am going to give a different answer. Yes, there is someone. Oh it's... my God, you're so mean. No, it's not oh a mean thing. It's because I'm obsessed with this person and I just Maybe wanna, a little help. I just want to be close. And no, it's the best if you, best if man. If you tell us, we won't tell anyone. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right anybody. now. He's the best person. Like he's the best <laughs> best man on the red carpet, without a doubt. It's Timothy Chalamet. Uh, but I just want to be close to him. I just want to be in the same room. We keep talking about Timothy Chalamet. So I'd so. fake it and say, "Oh, I really want to give you a makeup," but really, I just want to. I dress very up embarrassingly it. slid into his DMs. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I wanted to. Uh, you should. And what did you say? Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Um, I was, so all my friends were obsessed with him. Okay. Yeah. I have um, a male friend who was particularly were, drawn to him. Yeah. And so I like sent him a message on behalf of this person. Like did we, you, were, did you we, were, we were singing a song and uh, it goes, it did, Timothy yeah. Chalamet, <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> and we were like just singing it. So I sent it to him and then I woke up the next morning and I was like, Oh! <laughs> That's incredible. Wait, did he reply? No, he obviously. It? No. Wait, he, so he hasn't responded yet? Obviously not. And also, it's really creepy. He's like, how old is he? He's 20? Like, I think he's 22. That's oh, okay. fine. It's <laughs> But Dan, I think he probably watches Queer Eye, so you should do oh, it. Okay. Sure, no, I know that he knows the show because he's friends with Pete Davidson, who's a friend of mine, yeah. and he they became friends because I did a thing with Pete where I dressed him, and Pete was like, "Oh my gosh, you dressed me like Pete, uh, like uh, Timothy Chalamet," and then that w was how they became friends. So I know he's aware of the show. So I. Uh, but I haven't dared slide into his DMs. I'm, I, I'm Give it going, a go. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> wasn't I'm going to do it today. <laughs> what, what will be your line? Um, I love you. Would you consider being my second husband? <laughs> <laughs> or I'll leave my you? first husband for you? I don't know if you heard this, but he's been deemed the king of twinks. Yeah, of course, yes. By, yeah, by Albert. King Twinks. So yeah. he's king yeah. twink. Twink. He really is king I'm twink. not yeah. usually into twinks in the slightest. I've never dated somebody younger than me, but uh, you give it a try. <laughs> yeah, right, good. When he them. progresses beyond the twink zone, what does he become? Twonk. Okay. Then where else? What the heck's a twonk? Otter. It's a muscular twink. <gasps> he's not going to be that guy. What do you think he's going to become? I think he's just going to... I don't know what the... I don't, bear. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not very good at the term. A very he's hungry, hungry bear. bear. Yeah, hungry. you never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Tan, you are an expert in knowing where... You know, not gay people, but people should be going next in their lives. So giving them oh. kind of the... E I guess the help would be the word. Spiritual the guidance. guidance. The guidance. The guidance. No, no, no. Yes. Oh yeah. So you just finished, you know, we just saw Queer Eye in Japan. Yeah. There's the next Queer Eye coming out in Philadelphia. Yeah. What was it like to film in that city? What can you tell us? <laughs> I loved it, but my gosh, do you Philadelphia people are a little more aggressive than I'm I used from to. Philadelphia. She's from Philadelphia. Oh, you then no. So welcome. You're a little bit more aggressive. Like, it's not really? as it's not as hey, how you doing down no. the street in the morning? Like that's not the thing in Philly. But I liked it because it made us try harder. The other seasons, it was so easy. We'd like we'd be like, how are you? And then they'd cry. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Philly, you have to work for that. I also feel like you probably had your work cut out for you in Philly. You know, as much as I love the city. Mm -hmm. Actually, like, no, they, were, they, they, they had more or better style than any of the other seasons. Look at yeah. that. Okay, all right, the Philadelphians. City of brotherly love. Aggressive. It but was better style. It was the biggest city we'd been to, so that makes sense. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. When I was younger, I wanted to move to Philadelphia. Wow. It's a yeah. very lovely city. Well, it was my first experience of America because I used to model awesome. when I was a teenager. And uh, I don't know if you're allowed to mention brands on this show, whatever. It was yeah, yeah. <laughs> Urban Outfitters. And oh. I used to do that like oh, yeah, e-com. Oh, really? And I loved wow. it then. I was like, oh. I'm moving to Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, so she 
it's hate mail. <laughs> that is yeah. delightful. Well, like we uh, actually have a tweet uh, about one of your previous jobs here. This is from a viewer named Ashley who says, "Not a day goes by that I don't stop to think about the loss of such an iconic talk oh, show yeah. like MTV's. It's oh, on with Alexa Chung. So of course, this was on uh, 2009, and you interviewed a lot of celebrities. Do you have any throwback, funny stories uh, or memories of filming the show? Who did you hate the most? <laughs> who was that? <laughs> so that's what I want to. Do you know what my what? one of my like, it was such a whirlwind, that entire thing. And we filmed, it was live every day, it was a talk show. And it was incredible, and I just totally wasn't prepared for it because they, we really had amazing A-list guests on all the time. But my favorite thing that ever happened was, it was my birthday, and I showed up for this live performance, and MTV had arranged all my best mates to be there, oh. all in, and they all, all the audience had Alexa masks on. Oh. And so when they lifted it up, I like cried. And then, to play me out, oh no, that was it. And then 50 Cent came on, Oh, and they were like, this is your guest for today. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And then he had his own mic. And I was like, oh, sweetie, you, you don't need the mic because you've got lob mic. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, holding on to it like this. I was like, let go of the mic. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. And then uh, the segment rolled around. And then he went, can I just get everyone to do something right here? And he got everyone to stand up. And he sang, hey, shorty, it's oh, your birthday. Oh, oh my God. God. So sweet. Best birthday ever. Yeah, that's that's And then are you still friends with the old fitty? No, <laughs> I wish I was. He's, he was great. He seems very special. Yeah. So your PR people are really good. They've taught you not to answer my questions, which is who did you hate the most? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm good training. Did well, I, oh, oh, I can't tell. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a, yeah, we had a bad guest. We'll, go, we'll do a quick statement and figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so Tan, there's a burning question I have for you. Oh, yeah. I saw a video this week. I know it came out in December, oh, but God. it's from Architectural Digest. Oh, yeah. A tour of your home. Uh -huh. a stunning job. Love Thank what you did. Thank you so much. But talk to me about this candle closet. I love a candle closet. Girl, because that changed my entire outlook. Look on what is needed. In yeah, no. Uh, you know, when, you know, when you want to make your parents really proud of how incredibly gay you are, yeah. like that's your moment where you're like, guess what I got in my house? Like, my mom is very proud at this point. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's something that we wanted to do. I had an extra bit of room in my house. I don't live in New York. I don't live in New it's York. Utah. So, therefore, yeah, we have a lot more space. Yeah. Um, and I'm obsessed with candles. <laughs> Same. How did we gay? But what, is, but what happens with the smell? That is my question. Our supervising producer was yeah. like, this has to have a weird smell because they're all blending oh, it's together. Oh, gorgeous. Is it you because it's thematic? Like and, oh my God, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you got Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle in there? I don't know if you can say that. Yeah, you can. You can. You can. You can. We can even talk about. It's called that. It's called. It is called, it is called the vagina candle. Yeah. It's called. This no, smells like my. Oh, okay, got it. Can we do a quick shout? Goop, you do send me stuff. Why have you not sent me that? Do <laughs> <laughs> things that gay. You think I won't appreciate that? I do. That We're gonna have really, it. Open. That can go in the gay candle closet. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. it could. That should be center to it. But yes. what's your favorite scent in the closet right now? Um. Can I say my brand? Yeah, you can okay, say brand. Byredo, um, and it's berries, mm. however you say that in French based. Or you need to do the um, altar oh, yes, one. From Byredo? Yeah. Oh, all right, I'll try it out. So Have you good. done the cologne from Byredo? Yeah, I, I wear the cologne. It's so good. Yeah. It's it's so good. By the way, we're not actually sponsored by that. No, we're not. No, no, we're, not. we're all like, saying never. that name. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no. Byredo, Byredo, Byredo. But you no, can no, maybe send some of us some things if you'd like. Well, I have to say, we just have one more question before we have to let you go. Um, which is something we're a little bit obsessed with here. Your show, of course, airs on Netflix. Another oh, show yeah. that airs on Netflix is called Cheer. Oh, oh we love it. Okay. I love it. They okay, were good. all here yesterday. Yeah. Oh, oh. Was Morgan here? No, she couldn't make no. it. Did you ask Jerry to be your best friend? Yes, I love here. Jerry. Oh. It's like, what, okay, what do you love most about them? Um, uh, so I love that, that there's a girl, I think her name's Lexi, or yeah. Alex, Lexi, right? Mm -hmm. I love that she seems, have you noticed the way she speaks? She seems Slow. like a, such a mean girl, but she's just really sweet. Like she's been, they've all seen so much ish, mm -hmm. and you just know that they, they've been through so much, and so this has helped them mm -hmm. really feel better about them. I just think it's the most positive, beautiful show. I am, the thing I like most about them is that they can nearly break their necks and right. dislocate their <coughs> bodies but still don't cry about it. It's insane. She's like, get up, do it again. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, Coach Monica sat right here next to me yesterday and it was <gasps> so much. What was she wearing? I think she's got great style. Yeah, she oh. looks great. She was wonderful. I forget. I, I just kind of jeans and a moto jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeans and a moto jacket on. Yeah. So. Were you, did you ever do cheer at school? I was a gymnast for a long time. Uh, so you did it? I was I cheer adjacent, I would wow. say. Yeah, so I understand the feeling of Can you still around. do Can you tumble? Not well. Sometimes if I have a few cocktails, I think I can. But yeah, we'll take some that, shots after yeah. this. I'd <laughs> want to be a tumbler. I'm really jealous of the tumblers. I'd, really, I'd love to be a tumbler. There are adult gymnastics classes Jonathan Van Ness, my oh. classmate, does them. Yeah, he's obsessed. Yeah. He can now tumble. 
Um, Apparently, just turn like, the tumble, the bottom ones. Boop, 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 boop. I want an adult cheer. There is a gay cheerleading team in New York City. Oh my god, so we're all signing there's up. Time for us. Wow. Yeah. Can I be on the top? If you want to be a top Alexa, you can. Somebody tells me you. I wouldn't trust you on the top. I would. I know Alexa. We're out of time, but I think we're out of time. Alexa gives has to be done. Alexa gives hot energy. I'm putting it out there. I messed it up. Yeah, and cheerleading and. Why do they do this? I love, I, I love that they do that. That's 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 what they do whenever they hit. That's no, whenever they hit. Yeah. They, do it. they go. Yeah. I love them. Well, thank, this has been them. so fun. Thank you for making this thank Friday. Thank you both so, so much for indulging us. And we do yeah. love your show. We have watched the show, and Thanks. we spend so much time talking about twinks, tops, and yeah. everything. Well, we sh- we and do also have closet. a show. Yes, which you also have a show. We cover twinks and tops on our show as well. Exactly. So here we go. Well, you can check out Next in Fashion with twinks and tops on the show on Netflix only. Up next, I'm talking about MTV's True Life Crime. Stay tuned. 